If you're tired of your vanilla designs, then this video is for you. We're gonna analyze techniques that experts do that makes their designs stand out from the crowd. Let's go. Hello, my friend. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Adrian Somoza, and I focus on helping talented freelance web designers grow their talent and charge what they are worth. So if you want to give structure to your designs, make sure to download my free Golden Canon Grid course. It's helped over 10,000 designers already build more beautiful structured websites. But know this, design skills alone won't get you to 10K projects. Talent doesn't equal income. Look, I've spent seven years perfecting my design skills and I was still stuck at 2K per month. Now I've helped web designers scale to six figures a year without focusing on their design skills. So if your real ultimate goal with this is to build a profitable web design solo business, I suggest that you check out this video right here. Having said that, let's dive in. Let's take a look at the seven techniques. Number one is use horizontal edges throughout the page. A common mistake for beginners is to treat each section like a standalone module. And so they design this section and they forget about the rest of the page. They align elements and decide where things are placed based on what they are seeing on the current screen. And they forget to look at the website as a whole. So let me show you an example of what I mean with this. If we bring up the PIX grid ruler, and by the way, people are going to ask me, so let me clarify. This is an extension for Chrome called PIX grid ruler. You can find it in Chrome. In probably you're going to be able to find it for other browsers. So if I mark here an edge and we start scrolling, you will start to see that there's more elements in this page that are aligned to the same edge. This is a hidden technique that only experts do. They align key elements horizontally across the entire page from hero to footer, creating flow and harmony. Think like an architect, not a decorator. Okay. Number two, use vertical edges. So, Again, a common mistake that beginners do is they only use horizontal edges. So they align things to the left, they align things to the right, but they only use alignments to the left and the right because that's how usually multi-column grids are. But experts align content vertically as well. So if you take a look at this, right, for example, even from the beginning of this website, they are starting to align elements vertically, not only horizontally. If we scroll a little bit more, you will see that here again, these are aligned vertically, right? And here these are aligned vertically as well. Number three, align elements in two directions. So you can align an element, for example, if you mark an edge vertically, like columns have, right? You can align elements, pushing them to the left, right? But you could also do it to the right. And you could also do it to the right for the same edge. And that's what experts know and do. So take a look at this, for example, you can see that here, the same edge has an image that's pushed to the right, and an image that's pushed to the left, and they both share the same edge. This creates dimensional rhythm, and makes the layout feel intelligent and deliberate not scattered and boring. Now, if you're noticing how alignment brings clarity, you love the Golden Canon Grid course. Download it for free and train your eye to see these patterns like a pro with the use of an uncommon grid. Okay, link is going to be below. Now, technique number four is create rhythm through layout variation. Okay, a mistake of beginner web designers is repeating the same layout over and over again, which causes visual fatigue and boredom for the user. So what experts do is they alternate rhythm, full bleed image in this case, then we go to a text module with a background image. 
then we go to two images and a very little text then there's more text than a couple of images on top and bottom then there's a full bleed image again right so you can see how full bleed image images like two images and text full bleed image again image and text image and text two images with a little text here only text an image but not full bleed a full bleed background color with several images a full bleed image and we go back to image and text so you can see how they do like a sandwich with you know full bleed and text right they intercalate this different types of layouts to create visual interest and keep the users engaged as they scroll okay and hidden technique number five is repeat more a common mistake is making isolated design decisions without a system okay similar to the previous one but not only with the layout but also with typography sizes with colors with different things okay so let me show you an example of this so for example this typography size that was used here is repeated throughout the page it's used again here it's used again here it's used again here right so you can see that for example when they use a typographic size they keep using it throughout the page colors as well right there's a white back background color then there's this blue then there's white again then there's orange white again right so they repeat colors and they also repeat the type of modules so here we have for example this module that has a product and it has a video on the right now if we scroll a little bit down you're going to see that here we have kind of the same module with a different variation okay we scroll a little bit more and we find again the same pattern of module that we had at the top okay exactly the same the only difference is they used this audio module as well so the other module that repeats uh, and is very noticeable is this product module that has a product on the left and text on the right and has this scrolling animation right there's one there there's another one here right and there's another one here repeating modules repeating typography repeating layouts repeating colors helps create cohesiveness like nature where if you see a pine tree you won't see an isolated pine tree in the middle of nowhere you will probably see many of them probably a forest right you won't see just one plant of grass in the middle of the desert you'll see a field covered with grass right if you see a rock you won't see just one rock you will probably see many of them so in nature this happens and we kind of forget that in design we're kind of creating a visual ecosystem and we need to repeat elements to create cohesiveness for users to make sense of this ecosystem and bonus treat the hero as the cover of the book right so a very common mistake is designing the hero like just one more module right and maybe using a hierarchy like this right that we still use throughout the website again right now this is very common but take a look at this hero okay if we even reload the page you will see how this big bold typography title spans almost the width of the whole screen and it's even intertwined with this image here creating a very immersive and impactful hero that you will never forget and as you scroll on this website you will see that the highest typographic hierarchy that you will see from here on is going to be this one you won't see typography at this size again it you will only see it on the hero and you won't see this intertwined text and image in the rest of the website you will only see it in the hero so this makes the hero unique like the front cover of a magazine or a book it should scream start here and you should use it as a hook to visually anchor 
the experience. All right, if you enjoyed this, grab the free Golden Canon Grid course to go deeper. Link is gonna be below. And remember, if your goal is to build a six-figure freelance web design business, take a look at this video right here so you don't waste seven years like me. That's it for today. Hope you found it valuable. And as always, my friend, let's bridge the gap one pixel at a time.